These three Visual Studio Code extensions will make your life easier when working with Tailwind CSS, so you'll be able to code more fast and also have a better developer experience. Uh, the first one is this one right here called Tailwind CSS IntelliSense, and what it does, it uh, provide auto completion, syntax writing, and linting. So whenever you start typing some class, then uh, it is able to suggest uh, something which is really cool. So for example, uh, right here, let's say we wanted to add a background color to this nav. So if I start saying BG, you'll see it suggests some colors here and it's easier to select than, uh, you know, going on Google and searching everywhere for the BG. So that is really cool. So the second one is called Tailwind Documentation. And this is a good one. So whenever you are in doubt, you are able to read the documentation while inside Visual Studio Code. So what you need to do is to use these shortcuts. So if you are on Windows, you can use Control Alt T. If you are on Mac, use Command Control T. So I'm on Windows and I'll use Control Alt T and see if it works. So I'll say Control Alt T. And you see it opens on the side here and you can search anything about Tailwind. Maybe I don't know how to align the text at the center. So I can say align text, uh, I'll say center here. And then you'll get the documentation here about how you can align uh, the text. You'll see here text align and we have the documentation here the third one is called Tailwind Fold. And what this does is that it will hide uh, these class names, which sometimes can be overwhelming on a page and uh, you view them whenever you want to. So a good example, whenever I activate this and come to the navbar, you see here we had some class names, but now they are hidden. And when I click on this, we are able to display them. So that makes uh, the page to be more lightweight uh, whenever you don't want to see all those classes and want to focus on the logic. So interesting, try them and let me know what you think about them uh, at the comment section below.